हाँ जी लीनियर अल्जब्रा को कंटिन्यू करते हुए सेक्शन 1.1 हम डिस्कस कर रहे थे आज इस सेक्शन 1.1 का लास्ट लेक्चर होगा ठीक है और इस सेक्शन में हम डिस्कस करेंगे ट्रेस ऑफ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ठीक है इस वीडियो के एंड पे आपको एक यू नो असाइनमेंट टाइप शीट मिलेगा ठीक है दैट विल पॉप अप आफ्टर द कम्पलीशन ऑफ द वीडियो ठीक है तो आप वो क्वेश्चन देख के उनको सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करोगे और जिस जिसको सॉल्व होता है वो कमेंट बॉक्स में उस सॉल्यूशन को या उस आंसर को डाल सकते हैं ठीक है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विल स्टार्ट विद ट्रेस ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स कर दे ठीक है ट्रेस की बात भी स्क्र वाली मैट्रिक्स पे आ जाती है ठीक है सो ट्रेस ऑफ स्क्र मैट्रिक्स क्या होता है विल जस्ट डिफाइन इट फर्स्टली लेट्स टेक इन मैट्रिक्स ए ठीक है ए सब आई जे एंड इट इज ऑफ ऑर्डर एन कैन बी एनी मैट्रिक्स ठीक है कॉम्प्लेक्स और रियल ठीक है देन सम ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दर लाइंग ऑन प्रिंसिपल डायगोनल ऑफ ए ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए ठीक है इज कॉल्ड ट्रेस ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए ठीक है Now it is denoted by T or of A. Okay, that is if the matrix A is this one. So it's A one one, A one two. Up to a one n, then we have a two one, a two two, a two n, and the last say a n one, a n two, and the last a n n. This be our matrix, which is clearly a square matrix of order n. Okay. then if you are asked to find the trace the, the trace of this matrix a will be some of the diagonal entries that is a11 a12 a22 plus so on a n theek okay. hai so this will the trace of this matrix now this diagonal is called the principal diagonal okay the di the line that is this one uh, lying uh, just above the principal diagonal we call that super diagonal and the line this one uh, the uh, elements which are lying along this one that is just below the principal diagonal is called sub diagonal okay you can remember uh, these things sub diagonal agar wo just प्रिंसिपल डायगनल के नीचे वाली जो लाइन जाएगी उसके अलांग जो भी एलिमेंट्स लाइक करेंगे उन्हें सब बोलेंगे दैट द सब डायगनल एंड जो उसके ऊपर होगी दैट इज कॉल्ड सुपर ठीक है
This is all about uh, the definition of trace of a square matrix, that is the sum of the elements of a square matrix lying along the principal diagonal, okay? That's called the trace, right? Super and sub you will remember because when we will discuss uh, two more uh, types of matrices, that is tri-diagonal and bi-diagonal, they will be useful, okay? Super and sub. So let's uh, move to the properties of uh, trace of matrix, okay? So let's go to the properties. Properties. Of trace of a square matrix. We will discuss this. We'll take two matrices, let A equal to A sub IJ and matrix B be equal to also Take a scalar from set of all complex numbers, C, okay? Now, I have taken uh, two arbitrary matrices, right? And there is no restriction on uh, the elements, uh, whether they are, uh, there is no mention of uh, whether AIJs and BIJs are real or this. So it's understood that uh, both the two matrices, as I have already told you in the lecture first, that whenever there is no mention of uh, uh, these entries, right, whether they are real or complex, it is understood that we mean uh, by taking these two matrices as complex matrices. That means these two, uh, these entries, AIJs and BIJs, they are from a field of complex numbers. Okay, so let's move to discuss the properties. The property number one will be uh, trace of k times a is k times trace of a okay now where you know the k is from uh, complex number so you can, you can just you know i can show it on a matrix of order 2 say then you can generalize it's very much obvious. If A is this, then by the definition, trace of A is how much? A11, A22. So K times trace of A is how much? It's K times A11, A22. Two, two. Okay, now this matrix will imply K times A is it's a scalar multiple of A that means every entry will be multiplied by this scalar K a two two. So what will the trace of this K A? It will be equal to K A one one plus K A two two. Okay, which you can further write as K taking out then you have A one one plus A two two. Now you know this is equal to the trace of matrix A. So this is the meaning of this result one. Okay. So let's move to the property number 
second. Now the property number second is trace of matrix A plus B is equal to trace of A plus trace of B. Okay, it's very much you can verify it, it's very much obvious, right? Then we have trace of AB. It's equal to trace of BA. Okay. Now the fourth one is trace of AB is not equal to trace of B trace of A in general. Right. In general, this will not hold. There are examples where this will hold, but in general it will not hold. You cannot say that trace of A, B is trace of B and trace of A. This one is true, right? 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 This one is true, Now this thing is uh, not true in general. You can take examples to show this thing is holding and you can take examples, there are examples but you can show that uh, this result does not hold, okay? You can just take a simple example to you know, counter, take, take the counter of this. For example, you have A, that is identity, okay? Then you have B, that's again what identity matrix now what's the trace of this trace of a is 2 what's the trace of this it's trace of b is 2 so that implies uh, trace of a into trace of b is 2 into 2 Okay, that's 4. Okay. Now what's A, B? It's again an identity matrix. The moment you will multiply two identity matrix, you will get the same identity matrix. Right. What's the trace of this? A, B is 2, which is not equal to 4. So this thing is not holding. Okay. Now at the same time, you can just take this to be a null matrix. What is the trace of this now? It is 0. The trace of this is 2. What says this a, a, B? It will become null. Right. There is null matrix multiplied a matrix of the same where the multiplication is defined. Is again null. So trace of A, B will come out to be what? It will come out to be 0. Okay. Now trace of A is 0, trace of B is 2. So that means this will become 0 into 2. So it will become 0 which is holding, okay? But in general, you cannot say. There are uh, examples, I have shown you one, that uh, this does not hold, okay? Okay, there is no problem, you can just take trace of B, trace of A, right? At the end, it's uh, coming out to be a number. So this was the fourth one. And the fifth one is, uh, trace of A transpose is equal trace of A. Right. It's a square matrix. Any square matrix. If this is a matrix A, you can clearly see that uh, if you take the transpose of this, we're concerned about the elements on the diagonal and they will not change their positions. They will uh, remain there. You will see that it's A11, it's A21 and A12, A22 as it is. The diagonal remains, so that's why we say that trace of A is trace of A transpose, okay? So the property number six is 
ट्रेस ऑफ ए ट्रंजुगेट ओके इज नॉट इक्वल ट्रेस ऑफ ए ट्रेस ऑफ दिस इज नॉट इक्वल ट्रेस ऑफ ए इन जनरल ओके ठीक है Now again, again give an example on this that it does not hold, right? For if my matrix is one, zero, four, and say this is iota here, right? So what will be a transjugate? A transjugate will be this will remain, this will be. Negative iota and uh, this will be zero, and this will remain four. Okay. Now, what is the trace of this? Trace of a is one plus iota. Now, what's trace of a and trace of a conjugate? That's again equal to one minus iota. So these two are not equal, so not true in general. Now, uh, does there exist an example where they hold? Yes, there exists. The simplest one is that uh, take a real matrix, and uh, conjugate will have no effect, and you will get the trace same, right? So that's an example. Again, these are the six properties. Thank you. प्रॉपर्टी नंबर थर्ड पे थोड़ी सी और बात कर लूंगा मैं ठीक है फॉर इफ आई मास्क यू टू फाइंड ट्रेस ऑफ ए बी सी राइट नाउ द वे टू रिमेम्बर दिस इज से इट्स ए इट्स बी इट्स सी Okay. Now, you can start from this, but you are supposed to go anti-clockwise. Of course, I say jana. Okay, I say ni jana. This trace is also equal. I can start from B, then C. कोई skip नहीं कर पाओगे आप ठीक है? Skip भी नहीं करना. So this is also equal to this. You can start from this. Okay. Now this thing is also equal to trace of C. and then comes a but aapko kya karna hai anti clockwise jana hai okay and then comes b now ye cheez jo hai na ye koi ratta wali cheez nahi hai it's it comes from this right trace of ab is uh, trace of b uh, ye jo ye cheez aayi hai ye kaise aayi hai you can just consider this as a matrix one and then uh, you can uh, sim simply write by using that property bc ko pehle laoge and then a okay a similar is the case with this theek hai uh, you can just take this matrix as one and then shift it with this theek hai to yaad rakhne ka maan lo ki tarika ye hai aapko bola jayega trace of a square b again again mark them on a the circle it is b here now you can start from this you will get a square b that is true you can start from this that is a b a you can start from this that is b a square b a and a right so questions are asked on this very property supposed to master this right to aage chalenge property number Seven. Property number seven is. Now we are given a complex matrix. This of order n. I will again write if a equal to a i j. Of all, n by m, n by n, 
of order n, you can simply say phi is a matrix, right? It's a complex matrix. We'll m mention that one. Complex matrix, okay? This one is a complex matrix, any complex matrix. Then trace of A, A A transjugate is equal trace of A transjugate A. As I have used the property, you know, A B B A is equal summation and then again the summation a i j whole square j goes from 1 to n i goes from 1 to n okay what does this mean then trace of a a transjugate is equal to a transjugate is equal to the sum of modulus of each entry of a okay because running i from 1 to n and j from 1 to n will uh, you know make sure that each entry is covered right ye jo of expand karoge each and every entry will you know come iska main proof bhi dunga but uh, uh, that is angrezi mein likhoge to trace of a transjugate a is trace of a a transjugate is equal to sum of squares of modulus of each element or el entry when right element of matrix A. Okay. Now I will give a short proof for this and that will be for a matrix of order 2 only. Let's take A to be A11, A12, A21 and A22. This will imply A transjugate. A transjugate bole to A11 conjugate A12 conjugate A21 conjugate and A22 conjugate right now you can just multiply these two matrices what you will get is A11 multiplied by A1 conjugate plus A12 and A12 conjugate and the second entry will be A11 A21 conjugate plus A12 A22 conjugate I will multiply this row with this column, so we will get A21, A11 conjugate plus A22 and A12 conjugate, okay. Now the last one is A21, A21 conjugate plus A22, A22 okay now you know mod of z whole square z is a complex number right it's equal to z z conjugate okay you know this property well use the same here this is a complex number multiplied is conjugate so it will become modulus of a11 whole square and this will become modulus of a12 whole square like that so it implies we'll get a a transjugate to be 
a11 mod whole square plus a12 mod whole square now i will just not write these two entries this one and this one right and the last one will be a21 whole square and a22 whole square okay so you will just fill these two entries yourselves right now what what is the trace of this now you can just clearly see it the trace of a a conjugate is equal to a11 whole square a12 mark whole square plus a21 and the last let's say a22 that's this the sum of squares of modulus of each element of it okay so this is the trace of a a conjugate now you can clearly see the next property will be that uh, trace of a a uh, tr this this one is now a real number right modulus of a complex number is a real number actually what's the modulus modulus is the if you are uh, saying that modulus of z that means it's the length of this complex number z from the origin right uh, similar is the case if a11 is a any complex number and this means it's a distance and you know the distance is a real number and uh, you are uh, squaring that so this is this one is real number this one is real number this one is this one is and the sum of reals by the closure property is again a real number right so the trace of a a conjugate is a non negative real number we will use non negative because uh, this uh, thing cannot be negative as uh, the quantity is a real power square okay a real ka square karoge uh, there is no possibility of getting a negative number and uh, uh, it can be zero that's why we have said it is uh, greater than or equal to zero no wo bhi baat aayegi ek aur property mein ki zero kab hoga theek hai let's move to the property number 8 Now the property number eight is trace of matrix A A conjugate is a non-negative real number. Non-negative, बोले तो जीरो हो सकता है बट नेगेटिव नहीं होगा ठीक है नॉन नेगेटिव रियल नंबर नॉन नेगेटिव जिसको नहीं पता होगा वो याद रखिएगा नॉन नेगेटिव बोले तो आर सेट ऑफ रियल्स पॉजिटिव रियल्स यूनियन जीरो ठीक है दिस इज सेट ऑफ नॉन नेगेटिव रियल number so a trace of this is a non negative real number and property number 9 is trace of a a conjugate is zero it is zero the strong result if and only if a matrix a is a null matrix you can clearly see it right you are adding uh, non negative numbers right the sum of uh, the non negative numbers uh, is zero the possibility is when each each element each uh, entry or each number uh, is zero right the sum will come out to be zero if this is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero when that thing happens that each entry is zero that means the matrix itself is a null matrix 
right so it's if and only if wala result so you will remember it nicely now the property number 10 is trace of a a transpose is equal to summation summation a i g whole square j runs from 1 to n i runs from 1 to n now at this point of the time this uh, matrix a is uh, real matrix right this matrix a now is a real matrix and trace of this will come out to be this yahan pe aap yaad rakhoge a is real so the property number 11 is that trace of a a transpose again similar right then trace of a transpose a is non negative real number it's very bad you can just prove this you know on the same lines following the same lines and the property number 12 is trace of a a transpose is zero if and only if matrix a is null okay so uh, just like this the explanation is again same right no trace of this is uh, coming out to be uh, this sum of squares of the elements right that is if you are given a matrix a 1 2 3 4 and you are asked to find the trace of a a transpose all you need to do is okay so that way it's the property number 12 now let's move to property number 13 So the property number thirteen is that let a be equal to a sub i j. The order of is this is e m by n, okay, and uh, b to be b sub i j. and the order of this is again m by n then the result says trace of a b transpose right this is not a square matrix no meaning of trace this is not a square matrix no meaning of trace but it is m by n and when you take the transpose of this b transpose will become a matrix of order n by m so when you will multiply this a with b transpose it will become a matrix of order n by no no not n it will become m by m okay now this is equal to trace of b transpose a which is equal to trace of a transpose b now which is equal to trace of 
B A transpose. Okay. Now there is no aeronautics in this, right? You can just clearly see it's A B transpose, right? Matrix A and then B transpose. Now the property is A B is B A. Okay. A B is B A. That's this. And another property is another property and that is Malogi, you have trace of a B uh, transpose A. Okay. Now this is equal to trace of B transpose A ka whole transpose. Okay, isn't it? Trace of A is trace of A transpose. Now apply the property of that transpose that uh, it will reverse. So you will get A transpose and then you will get B transpose ka transpose. Right. Now B transpose transpose by the property is again B. So you get A transpose B. Okay. That is this. Now how will you get this? You can just take this trace of A B transpose is equal to trace of A B transpose ka transpose. Now it is trace of by that property it is B transpose transpose and then A transpose. Now B transpose transpose is B, B only and this is A transpose. So you will get this, right. So this was the property number 13. Let's move to the property number 14. 14 is also important. property number 14 right there does not exist square matrices A and B such that the moment you calculate this A B minus B A the result says there are no square matrices A and B such that this thing holds this is equal to an identity matrix now we are supposed to give the proof of this We'll show this is incorrect to write this. No. A B minus B. What if this holds? Okay. Take the trace on both sides. You write trace of A B minus trace of uh, now trace of B A. That is trace of the identity matrix. Okay. Now you can just distribute the trace as you know that trace of A, B, A plus B is trace of A plus trace of B. So this is this minus trace of B. That's equal to. If we are assuming that A and B are matrices of order N, then the trace of I, that's going to be N. Because the number of uh, ones on the diagonal will be N for order N. So this implies that trace of A B as it is. Now you know trace of B A is trace of A B. That's equal to N. Now this implies N is zero. It's absurd. It's not. This is very much incorrect, right? As the moment we talk about the order, it's a natural number, right? So that's it. Uh, and that way we can show that uh, this is incorrect, right? Using the concept of trace. Now, just bande ko yahan pe ye samjh na aaye ho, wo ye soch raha ho ki humne to ye pada hai trace of a plus b is trace of a plus trace of b. So how is this possible? Uh, we can write this trace of a minus b is trace of a 
plus this now you can just distribute it trace of a plus you know it now trace of so this this uh, you can just uh, think of this um, it's a negative one so it's a k type of k so it will come out as uh, you have learned the property number one this will come out as k so that's it that's how we have written this one okay so that's it uh, for the section 1.1 section 1.1 ends here and uh, we'll start section uh, 1.2 now then in section 1.2 we will uh, come across some special matrices we will discuss them right uh, you know after the completion of this video i am telling you again that uh, you will get uh, certain questions you will try them and uh, hopefully we will you will uh, solve them and uh, send the solutions or the answers in the comment box or comment box or in this uh, or telegram channel thank you